critical component of sustainable human waste management is urine diversion. Poo is, is not a great substance. It's got pathogens, it has uh, heavy metals in it. We want to put it away in a dark place, try not to touch it. P, the vast majority of human waste by volume over the course of a day, flows by gravity and has all the plant nutrients. The soil can manage the pee. So our urine diversion seat is um, mechanically foot powered and diverts greater than 99% of pee from poo. Gravity flows the pee down the conveyor belt and gets it into a pipe. The pipe is plumbed into the ground with a simple septic field. Poo goes up the conveyor belt with the toilet paper and other junk that some people tend to put in, into toilets and it goes up and drops off the conveyor belt. Now it can go at least two places um, and it can go into a decomposing system where we facilitate soil invertebrates to eat the poo or it can go into a bag or barrel directly for easy extraction removal and off-site treatment at a centralized facility like a wastewater treatment plant. So just quickly to describe those, the decomposed system um, has a earthen bottom vault. It's uh, stiff sides to retain the earth and it's contained by um, a shed roof, something that's e easily lifted and sealed to make it a safe space that people aren't going to fall into. And the right type of environment for a decomposing system is a forested environment or anywhere with, uh, with soil, black organic matter, which is a place where there will be plants growing. So anywhere where there's plants growing, there's some black organic matter, there's a rich soil ecosystem developed over, uh, over many years to degrade the detritus from that vegetation. And human waste is a form of detritus. When it's been diverted from pea, it's a great food source for bugs. The decomposing system has a solid waste pile accumulate underneath the conveyor belt that once a year it's shoveled from its location here to its location inside the vault closer to the access hatch a little bit of water is added to make it moist and a plastic sheet covering the material that will keep the moisture in bugs will come up and eat the poo until the volume that remains is a tiny little bit which means you get to store all of the accumulated human waste inside this vault for 10 or 20 years at least, even at very high use front country sites. Now if you're in a, a very rocky, high elevation, desert, or site that's used um, perhaps more than a few hundred thousand times a year, you might choose the waste away system. And the waste away system takes the poo off the conveyor belt and it drops it into a vessel. The vessel could be as small as a 20 or 30 liter bag that mules carry, such as what's used in Rocky Mountain National Park up at Long's Peak, or it could be as large as a cubic meter bag um, used here uh, up at Angel's Landing at Scout's Lookout. So each of these bags will hold 10,000 to 30,000 visitors uh, waste and that depends on how much toilet paper is being given to them and if it's at a campground people tend to poop more than if it's at a trail side where they're mostly peeing. This uh, system has um, a concrete wall, a concrete floor, and a concrete retaining wall with a with a vessel inside the one I'm describing here in Zion and the waste bag is rolled out on a dolly for easy extraction and removal and the waste is then processed in the, uh, at a centralized facility like a wastewater treatment plant down where uh, the rest of human waste um, is processed. This gives you an overview of the decompose, where you have a forested site with soils, or the waste away, where you're just trying to collect, essentially, and pack out your waste using, um, using the most efficient means possible.